Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ha Raka Kodash Ma'ama. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the elders. Double honors to my elders as well, Aharwan Bayasha Allah of the Lions Day and Camp. And salutations to the fellow Akim, Awafim, and children that believe in truth and in sincerity. It's your brother, I y'all are back to another lesson. And Yaharat is edifying. This lesson basically inspired off by a camp lesson, you know, ultimately going into, uh, you know, the, the, the how that brook became a river, all right? And that river became a sea, all right? Just, you know, going into that each one teach one, all right? As the Lord spirit is being poured among all flesh, all right? The truth is out, you know, according to Matthew 24 and 14, this gospel and truth shall be preached throughout all the earth and then the end shall come. All right, and that's why we have the end before us, man, because, hey, the truth is out here. So it's imperative for our people to resort back to that fountain, resort back to that brook, that river, all right? You know, ultimately, so we can uh, get the hell up out of here, man. The elect can be sealed, all right, because that's ultimately who's going to resort back to that foundation, that brook, that river, all right? The elect, all right, that remnant that the Lord is going to allow, all right, to, 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 to have eyes to see and ears to hear. All right, in this Revelations chapter 22 and verse 1, and it reads, And he showed me a pure river of water of life. Right. You know, this 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 pure ri river is water, waters of life. All right. Without water, you're 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 uh hey, you're turning to that pink dust, you know, like like Lot's wife. All right, a pillar of salt, you know, you'll become dehydrated. Without the water, the, the the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all right, this world is gonna, uh, you know, suck you up, suck you dry, man. Clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of Yahweh and of the Lamb, you know, the Lamb being Yahweh Shah, all right. So it's of them. It's it's it's, it's from above, you know, the heavens, you know, the Shemayims, all right, you know, pertaining to the spiritual, all right. And this is ultimately talking about what? The pure river of the water of life. And it's verse 2, in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river was there the tree of life, right? The tree of life, all right? And the, the, the tree that's closest to the river gets all the nutrients, gets filled abundantly, and it's be the strongest tree from the root to the branch. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river was there the tree of life, which bare 12 manner of fruits, right? And that 12 manner of fruits ultimately representing the 12 tribes of Israel, man. The true people of the of the Lord, man. Anything else outside of the 12 tribe, tribes of Israel, the 12 nations from Judah, Judah to, to Issachar is a heathen, all right? They have no place in salvation. They need not to be saved out of the trap. All right, this trap that's being set among the four corners of the earth with this new world order, this fourth industrial revolution, all right, with the blockchain system, wanting to put a device in every human being, all right, tying the straw man to the buyer, tying your physical being, all right, to your uh, your bank account, all right, going back to slavery, putting you even in more bondage than you already in, all right. You know, anything outside of those 12 tribes of Israel who this trap is clearly being set for, all right, as this nation has built itself upon the backs of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, all right, and they're trying to seal, sign, seal, and deliver it, all right, and stamping that decree with their new world order, all right, their fourth, fourth industrial revolution, man. So anything outside of those 12 manner of fruits being the 12 tribes of Israel is a heathen, man. They're a bastard. All right, and they have no place in the Lord's salvation and what he's coming to do, all right, upon the upon the earth, all right? But just getting back more on topic, in this Revelation is 22 and 2, in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river was there the tree of life, which bare 12 manner of fruits, right? And yield her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations, man. And those nations are the 12 nations within that one whole nation, being the 12, 12 tribes of Israel. All right, as we have 12 nations with, within, as, as a whole, conglomerate, conglomerate, all right, and you can split it up, being the southern kingdom, being the Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the so-called, what you, what you would label the Jews, 
being the so-called Negroes, those of the Caribbean islands and Jamaican descent being the tribe of Benjamin and those of, of, of the Levites, all right? Being the tribe of Levi as Moses, if Moses were here today, he'll be a so-called Haitian, all right? So that is the Southern kingdom. Being the Northern kingdom, the rest of the tribes, the other nine tribes being the head of those tribes being Ephraim, all right? The, the so-called Puerto Ricans are the head of the Northern kingdom, all right? All, all resorting back to the split of, of, of Solomon, Jeroboam, and Rehoboam, all right? You know, where the kingdom was split, all right? But, you know, just staying on topic, all right? Those 12 manner of fruit representing the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? And the healing of the nations, man. This tree, this tree of life is for the healing of our people to resort back to our nationality, man, because we have forgot who we were, all right? Being in this captivity, being up under these heathens, all right, pertaining to Psalms 83 or how they tried to cut us off from being a nation. All right. They took crafty counsel and try to cut us off from being a nation. Man. That's why they call you black. That's why they call themselves white. All right. Colors out of the crayon box, social constructs. All right. Ultimately, to hide their identi identity of being biblical Edomites and that's being the biblical Jews. All right. So that's just a lesson within a lesson. All right. But that tree of life. All right, from that pure river of the water of life, all right, is a is for Israel, man, for the healing of Israel, for the healing of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, for you to have the chance at repentance, all right, and, and have your slate wiped clean, and the Lord can deliver you, all right, out of the said perils, the lamentations, mourners, and woe that's written in these scriptures, all right, because the whole world is not going to end, but America is going to be wiped off the face of the earth through thermal nuclear fire. All right, through ICBM missiles, all right, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, your only way out is through what the government, the so called white man, called a UFO, which is the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the emergency vehicles of the Lord. But from Revelation chapter 22, I wanted to go, all right, just going back to that brook becoming a, a river and a river being a sea, all right, ultimately for the healing of our people, the healing of our nation. All right, to resort back to their nationality, to learn of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, you learn, you go into anything new, you learn the rules and regulations, you learn the policies. All right, we have dietary laws, we have, we have a law, all right, that hey, what the world told you was done away with, man. You know, which that's, that's a lie, all right, the modern day Christian church is under the Nicene Creed, all right, and that's a whole nother topic, all right. But just to stand on focus, all right, just, um, hey, this, 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 this lesson was ultimately inspired off this last camp lesson, all right, on how that, hey, the fountain of youth, you know, uh, the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans ultimately have to resort back to this truth, all right, and you can't get this truth everywhere, man. You have to ultimately resort back to those who bear this truth, those who bear the wisdom and knowledge of, of the Lord, the Urim and the Thurm, right, you know, because it was spoken of at camp, uh, I, I, which our elder made a good point on how that brook, all right, being the foundation, all right, that brook, all right, turned to a river, as the scriptures say, that brook became a river, all right, and that brook uh, representing the foundation, all right, the brook could represent the foundation with Peter and, uh, <clears throat> with Peter, and, 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 Salaki, and the river, all right, that brook became a river could uh could represent that river could represent Paul, all right, teaching the Gentiles that were scattered abroad amongst the other nations. All right, that was his office. All right, and he magnified it, right? So Paul could represent that river ultimately, which brings the conglomerate of the, the, the body of believers, man. You know, the hopefully elect ultimately, you know, because all Israel is not gonna be saved, all right, which uh cause, which consists of the sea of people, man. You know, the true sea of people, which the Lord is going to save, right? So from now, I want to go to the book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 21. In verse 12. And it reads, he that is not wise will not be taught. But there is a wisdom which multiplieth bitterness, right? This wisdom multiplieth bitterness, ultimately. Because when you understand who the enemy is and you understand where the world is going, all this is for nothing, it's for no profit, 
all right? You ultimately just ready to get out of here, man. As the scriptures say, surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, man. You know, so when you become wise, you 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 become mad, all right? You know, looking at the uh, cards you was dealt, you know, uh, one of my favorite chapters, you know, when I first came into the truth, I used to listen to was Job chapter 30, all right? Because he was in that mind state in Job chapter 30, real life, you know, coming to the realization who was oppressing him, man, you know? Base men, all right? So a he that is not wise will not be taught, all right? You don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth, you know, because why? They're not wise. You know, when they don't want to hear the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Lord, they're not wise. They don't want to hear the truth. They're not wise, man. You know, they shun the truth off. You know, like, uh, what is his name? Raccoon, the nigga Boosie. Little Boosie did, Shoo Shoo, and all that. Hey, you marked for judgment, man. The Lord got your number. But there is a wisdom which multiplies business, man, bitterness, man. And that wisdom is, is hey, it's Sophia, man, in the Greek, right? And, and that's all you need, man. That's all you should want. None shall want her mate. All right, that's the only woman you should you, you should put first. It's the only woman you got to put first here in, 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 this, in this flesh. All right, Sophia, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Lord. All right? Even though it multiplies bitterness, it's going to yield and profit a, 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 a a sweet, a sweet and everlasting taste at the end. All right. This is verse 13. The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood and his counsel is like a pure fountain of life, man. And this is where the counsel come in, where you have to be taught. And you have to be uh, learned up under learned men. All right. Ultimately, who the Lord is dealing with through the spirit. All right. You know that each one teach one. All right, that chain of command as it coming from the heavens, the Shemayims that we brought out in Revelations 22, right? The waters of life, you know, as it's coming down from the Shemayims, the order. All right, and let's get that. Let's get that back. It's Revelations 22 and verse 1. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God. Right. You know, and that's in the heavens. And of the Lamb. You're right, which is Yahweh Shai, who is in the heavens on the right hand side of the Father. All right. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, which yield her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse but the throne of God, all right, the throne of Yahweh and of the Lamb, Yahweh Shai, shall be in it. And his servant shall serve him. And they shall see his face and his name shall be in their foreheads. Man, the ultimate three, you know, still in the point. All right. You know, a that spiritual tabernacle, that a new Jerusalem, that spiritual tabernacle. All right. As the Lord. All right. Spirit is being poured amongst all flesh. All right. But ultimately, he gave his secrets to his servants, the prophets, man. All right. Ultimately, by the power of his son. All right. Who is son. Right? He blessed his son. All right. His son been exalted to the right hand side of, of, of the father. All right. The Shemayims. All right. And now the prophecies are unfolded. All right. It's speaking, spoken of in the book of Daniel. The prophecies are unfolded. All right. Where we are able to 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 subscribe to this truth. All right. We're able to bear the Urim and the Thurim as well. All right. The wisdom and knowledge. All right. Which coincides with each other and the understanding. All right. You know, to where we have the apostles and elders on down. All right. So if you're wise, you will seek the counsel of the Lord. All right. But if hey, you're not wise, you're ultimately a fool. You, don't, you can care less about the comp counsel of the Lord. All right. You're not going to be you're not going to be uh, renewed. All right. You're not going to be cleansed. All right. With the uh, water from the fountain of youth. All right. From that pure water. All right. That being said, I want to bring out the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, and I'll start at verse 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. Right. You are, you, that's why it's imperative to seek wise counsel and not just be a part of an Israelite group, but seek the true Israelite group that's teaching the truth. All right. Because a lot of these Israelite groups have 501c3 charters. Right. 
which means they're non tax exempt by way of the government, which ultimately lines up with the book of First Maccabees. All right, and the book of First Maccabees that's a license to commit sin. All right, as there are many licenses. All right, but that's one of them. All right, to take money from the people. All right, and I believe that's the book of First Maccabees, chapter one. All right, and, and around verse 10 or 11. All right, but that's a license to, 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 to commit sin. All right, to take money from the people, and, 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 and then you have a gag order, all right, because the 501c3 charter was created by a guy named Lyndon B. Johnson, and he created it ultimately to be a gag order for the churches, all right, for them not to be able to teach truth, again, because they're under the Nicene Creed of religion, all right, which was man-made in the Council of Nicaea in the Roman Empire, 325 AD, all right, where they created religion, all right, to ultimately cause confusion, all right, and make everybody feel as if they have a god. All right. Mainly Catholicism. All right. But ultimately, if you're wise, you are here and you're going to want to increase learning. All right. As the scriptures say, uh, blessed is he that readeth, man. You know, seek out of the book of the Lord and read. All right. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, and ultimately, you're going to attain to wise counsel. You're going to resort back. You're going to resort to the truth. You're going to resort to the fountain of youth. All right. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. This Proverbs 12 and 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. Right. You need counsel. You know, you can't go about it your own way. You can't set up your own camp. You know, because even if the Lord give you fruit, that's fruit, that's fruit that's going to be him, him down, him down. You know, as the scriptures say, it's not if it's not profitable fruit or fruit that the Lord can delight in, it's gonna be hewn down. All right, it's not. It's, it's, you're wasting your time. All right, and that's why you have to go into. It's, it's an order in this. All right, you have to seek the correct counsel. All right, wise counsel, not any counsel. All right. So, hey, the way of a fool is right in his own eyes. The scriptures say. It's a way that may seem right to a man, but that way, the end thereof is death, you know? This is Proverbs 15 and 22. Without counsel, counsel, purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors, they are established, man. Right, they are established, you know, because you're going to be trained up as a child, the way you shall go, all right, um, properly, all right, in the eyes of the Lord and what the Lord see fit, all right, you're going to be prepared for the Lord, all right, with hopes that you can accept, you know, he can accept you, all right, he can, he can accept that spirit that you've been working on. It's Proverbs 11 and 14. So repent, Jake, repent and be zealous, therefore, man, where the evil days come not, all right? Because, hey, the evil days is, is, is fastly approaching us, all right? It's Proverbs 11 and 14. Who, where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety, man, right? And now we see our teachers, all right? Our teachers not moved in a corner anymore, all right? Judah, the scriptures speak on how Judah mourneth and the gates thereof languish. Right, because our leaders used to be on the outskirts on the gate at the gates, all right. But our leaders have erred, all right. But now the Lord had gave us proper leaders, starting with hey, the apostles and elders and their apostles, all right. Alba Bivens being John the Baptist, Elijah, right. To where we can come into the fold, man. We can bear the urim and the thurm, right. To where we are, where, where we have the name of the Lord, all right. So now we, we're in that strong tower. You know, we're in that spiritual tabernacle of King David, man. You know, we're in that spiritual ark with hopes of being saved. All right. So hey, we're, we're safe. We're in safety having the having the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and under that, that under that council of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, Yahweh Ratazah, I'm part of that number. This is Proverbs 19. You bear with me. And 20, 
Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. You know, and that's the point. You know, you want to be wise in that latter end because the latter end is what matter. The latter end is what count. When all shit hit the fan, you know, what you have pretty much saved up and put in that spiritual bank account of the Lord is what's going to be sufficient in that day. And if you haven't been putting anything in that spiritual bank account, you have nothing to show for it, man. The Lord is not going to be pleased with you. And he's going to say he has not known you. You know, you have not had an account in his bank. You know, in other words. Verse 21, there are many devices in a man's heart. Right? His mind. Heart goes back into the of, meaning your mind. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. Right? It don't matter about what you think or how you feel. The counsel of the Lord and how he put things and set things in place from the beginning all the way up to now to where we, we still have an order, all right, from the apostles on down, all right? You know that brook being the foundation, all right? The river being those outside of that foundation but still under that uh, uh, apostleship teaching 100% truth like the camps like ourselves, right? Ultimately, a preaching to the sea of people, man, the hopefully elect, you know, the body of the true believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, the Akwafium, the Akium, the Akwafium, the women, you know, the, 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 uh, the women and children, you know, that solemn assembly, man, that spiritual tabernacle. This is Proverbs 23 and 6. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee, man. And that's what this devil, that's how this devil operates, man. A gift is short the heart, you know. But our people, two-thirds of our people, they love this devil's system. They think they have a part in it, all right? They think they're partakers in it. And they're sad, they, they, they're going to be sadly mistaken, man. You know, so that's why it's imperative to you to resort back to the fountain of youth. All right. The, 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 the pure water. All right. Before you become dehydrated and the Lord, a hey, cut that cord, man, that silver cord from you, man. And you, and you drown out here. All right. But just getting back to the point, I want to get the book of Sirach. Chapter 24. And I'll start at verse 1. Wisdom shall praise herself and shall glory in the midst of her people. Right. And again, that wisdom in the Greek represent what? Sophia. All right. She's going to praise herself and shall glory in the midst of her people. In the congregation of the Most High shall she open her mouth. Right. That spiritual congregation, that spiritual tabernacle, that spiritual art, that cosmos. That, uh, that, that particular arrangement. In the congregation of the Most High shall she open her mouth and triumph before his power. Right. From the congregation. All right. From where he sit, from his temple. All right. So hey, this is this is the train filling the whole earth. All right. Pertaining to what? Uh, Isaiah. And this is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 6. In verse 1, in the year that King Isaiah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims, right? And seraphims just ultimately represent like angelic beings. Each one had six wings, and twain, with twain, meaning with two, he covered his face. With twain, he covered his feet. And with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, right? Armies. The Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, of armies. The whole earth is full of his glory, man. So there it is, the Lord train being filled through the whole earth. All right. So we go back into Sirach. All right. Chapter 24. And it's talking about what? The wisdom. All right, the wisdom and knowledge of the Lord. 
and how that's going to fill the whole earth, all right? Just as his train is going to fill the whole earth. And this is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 24, verse 3. I came out of the mouth of the Most High and covered the earth as a cloud. I dwelt in high places, and my throne is in a cloudy pillar. I alone can pass the circuit of heaven and walk in the bottom of the deep. In the ways of the sea and in all the earth and in every people and nation, I got a possession. You know, so hey, that's 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 more solidifying the point. All right, how the Lord's train is going to fill the earth, man. And that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, Sophia, is a part of that. All right, and this is I'm gonna jump down to verse thirty. I also came out as a brook from a river, right? And as a conduit into a garden, I said, I will water my best garden and will water abundantly my garden bed. And lo, my brook became a river, right? And my river became a sea, you know? And just hey, as, a, as the ancient times of old, like our elder put it in perspective of that brook being the foundation. All right, with uh, with Peter, all right, John, all right. Ultimately, the river, all right, and uh, becoming a the brook becoming a river, all right, going into what the uh, the, the Paul Paul's office, and how he was sent out, all right, apostle being sent out, he was sent out to the Israelites that were scattered abroad amongst the other nations, looking like the other nations, just like we have today. As, as some of our people look like these other nations, all right? But the spirit, by way of their father, is going to bear witness to the spirit of the living power, all right? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? The Israelites of the Holy Bible, all right? The descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, by way of their father, all right? So from the foundation, being from Peter to John, being that brook, all right, becoming a river, all right, with Paul, the Gentiles scattered abroad, ultimately to bring in the fold, all right? Because once the elect is sealed, all hells go break loose, all right? So from the foundation of KMS, to, all right, to the outskirt camps, the, in that same, under that same apostleship and truth, all right? Like the camps like ourselves, all right, being a, a form of the river, all right? Ultimately channeling like a conduit to the sea of people, all right, to help seal the elect. Because according to Revelation 7, once the elect is sealed, all hell is breaking loose, man. All right, and we up out of here. All right, one of the scriptures I want to uh, bring out is the book of Psalms, chapter 133, and we brought it out in, in, I brought it, we brought it out in camp in verse 1. You know, because it's, it's, it's a blessing to have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of being to the note. All right, because obviously the Lord has blessed your eyes and your ears to, to hear and your eyes to see this truth, all right? And so you can resort back to the fountain of youth, all right? And you can prolong your days, man, and, 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 and seek salvation. All right, and this Psalms 133 and 1, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. You right? That, that spiritual tabernacle, that particular arrangement, you know, that cosmos, that world that's spoken of in John 3, 16. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his garment. Man. And again, that train being filled from the Shemayims, the heavens, all the way down to, hey, to, to, to Yahweh Shai, all right, the son of man, to who Yahweh Shai has, 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 has given the secrets and the mysteries to, all right, which is his men, all right, the whole family left. All right, the 144,000 men and the one-third men, women, and children that's written in the book of life to be saved from the said peril. All right. That ointment representing the oil. All right, the oil. All right, which could coincide with the water. All right, which is what? The wisdom. All right, the knowledge. All right, the understanding. All right. And this is speaking on what? The high priest in those times with the high priest was Aaron. All right, which was in, in the Levitical priesthood. All right, now the high priest is Yahweh Shai, all right, from Yahweh Shai to a apostle Tahar to the, the apostles and elders, man, on down, 
all right? And that wisdom and that train being filled through the whole earth, all right? That precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard. I'm in verse two. Even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his garment as the dew of Hermon and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. Right, the governments of Zion, the nations in Zion. Again, it's 12 nations that that, that uh, amount to one nation being the nation of Israel. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Man, that's just being the point. All right, and I'm going to um, wrap it up. All right, got bad weather, but Yahweh Rathazah, this lesson was edifying. All right, the brook became a river. All right, from the foundation to the, to, to, to the, uh, a to Paul office. All right, to those Israelites that's under the apostleship of the foundation that's teaching to the sea of people today to ultimately help seal the elect, man, and bring those who desire, those who desire salvation, those who desire repentance. Hey, let them know of the Lord, man. The father name is Yahweh and his son name is Yahweh Shai. All right, you pray into those names and watch how things change for the benefit of you, for the benefit of your, 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 hey, your coming and going now, all right, of your salvation. All right, and um, Yahweh Ratzazada's lesson was edifying. All right, uh, uh, another uh, reason to just repent and resort back to the Lord, man. All right, as our salvation is going to be as filthy rags, man. There's no man that repent of not. All right, so be not ashamed, not. It's all about just seeking truth because everybody don't have truth. And that's what caused the confusion here to where our people can't get to the rivers of, 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 of uh, the, the tree of life, man. All right, and that pure water. All right, and ultimately, it's, it's been set up that way for the Lord, for you not to get it, all right? Because the Lord don't want to deal with you, all right? But again, that that cord, that silver cord is, is, is cut, it's loose, all right? The Lord don't want to deal with you, all right? But as far as that that that, that remnant, those those few left, all right, that, that, that are hoping to be sealed and, 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 and hoping to repent, all right, or repent it and, and hoping to be saved, all right? This is for you and Yahweh Ratazada's lesson was edifying. Shalom, Mahabadah. GTA to the next one.